I was in a museum in London, actually, and I was having, I, was, I think I was at a very particular moment of my life. And honestly, I was having this kind of personal encounter with a painting. And I realized that very neck, very close to me, like within maybe three feet, was a museum guard sitting in a little chair. And I had not noticed him at all. And so I was struck immediately that there he was and that it was his job to sort of be with this work of art all day long, all of these works, and then to be with the people who are with the works all day long. And um, I interviewed him for a few seconds as the museum was closing, just sort of like, so where, what did, do, have you been sitting in this chair all day? Is anyone else crying like me? <laughs> like, what's, what's going on? You know, what's, what's your day been like? You know, what, what is an average day for you? And so that's kind of what launched the play. Um, and then I struck on this particular Rembrandt painting called Aristotle with the Bust of Homer, and the structure of the play kind of emerged from there. I think the Rembrandt is, on the one hand, about a museum guard that decides to deliberately touch a famous Rembrandt painting, and how that encounter changes him. You know, it sends him on a journey, and somehow he absorbs through that touch some of the history and the, the human muscle and blood and tissue and narrative and um, feeling that, that that painting sort of holds. And it makes him go back into his own life and make different choices. I also think of the play as sort of trying to hold these two things of the things that will last and the things that will pass. It's, it's not hard to spend time with something like a Rembrandt painting and, and find yourself thinking about the fact that this painting has endured. For, for many, many years, and that all of the people who were around the work when it came to be, as well as the people who have seen this work, and the people who will see this work, including yourself, will, will, will go, will pass. And yet, in both cases, whether it's a person or the painting, there is only one of it in all the world. And I think the play is definitely asking us to think about art as practice, that when we go to see a work of art or a play or a painting, it's practice for the real thing, which in some ways is being able to somehow better see each other with a wider, a wider lens and um, a refreshed lens.